So this is, I believe, a 2019 Hustler Raptor SD. Uh, it has been redneck customized just a little bit with the tires. I got another video on that. Uh, the really redneck sunshade. Hopefully I'll have a video on that shortly. Uh, yeah, Kawasaki motor. Does not have the Donaldson style air filter that the bigger, you know, Pro Line does, but pretty good mower, pretty heavy built, uh, and it rides like it too. The flex forks really improve the ride, so I have a pair today. Yeah, other than being heavy uh, and painted black, they don't look a whole lot different, but I guess there's a torsion rubber in there and they flex just a little bit, so I'm going to try to throw these on and have a little more comfortable ride. You know, I'm getting old enough. And after driving an F-250, it just uh, spinal compression makes your back hurt. So on this model, the head of the bolt for the uh, wheel is an inch and an eighth, and the nut is an inch and a sixteenth. And if you don't have standard, we know it's uh, standard because it's got three marks on it. It's a grade five. Uh, 27 millimeter will work for an inch and an eighth. So we'll get that sucker on there. Or sorry, for an inch and a sixteenth, 27 millimeter on the nut. And off the nut comes. Okay. So washer on the outside. On both sides. Not going to matter which way you put the wheel, there's no offset, but... Our valve is on the outside, that's where I prefer it, so that's how I move it. It is a three-quarter, and I've got safety goggles that I should have had on the first time, but especially now, it's not an impact socket. Some odds of it coming apart. Okay. There's our collar that we're going to need to reuse. Nice bearing. Uh, actually, we're going to have to pull and reuse the bearing, too. So, oh, that where we're bearing. Okay, it's going to slide off there. I'm not going to worry about pressing it. They are sealed bearings. That's kind of nice. Lots of cardboard dust on this thing. It looks like it's been in the box for years. Or just shipping dry cardboard and bouncing around. Okay. Bearing on. I'm not going to bother wiping that shit off. All right, I got my thread locker. It's an off-brand. It's in a red jug, but it is blue, medium strength. Now that doesn't sit down all the way flat on that base, which at first glance you might think is an issue, but since we already have it in here, we know that's the stop and where it sits. It's really not gonna matter which way I face that. I can face it back the way it was, just so our wear mark lines up. And I think it gave an actual torque on this. Highest quality Harbor Freight or Hazard Fraught if you prefer torque wrench. Some of the reviews that people have done say these things are actually pretty accurate. It's interesting, making sure my valve stems out here on the outside where I want it. But when that turns around, it's going to be on the inside. So. I know these, these wheels pivot, but when you get to driving and you pull in the shop, this will be the outside. It will naturally turn to the back. No Loctite needed here. Since it is a nylock nut, you can see the insert. The destruction sheet suggests tightening it and then backing it off until the wheel spins freely so you aren't crushing it too much. Uh, beyond that, it does not give a torque recommendation. a little tight. There's a little drag there. So, see that? Do a final pinch in. Let's back that off just a little. You don't want it loose and slapping around in there. That spins free. But let's see. I'll help her keep that spinning for me. It just 
grab it. Feel and he's been playing in there. I think we can call that good. I mean, in play there. Speak of. Oh, there's the noon whistle. All right, so that's it. One side down, I move on to the other side. Uh, the instruction sheet does say it'll probably take 20 to 30 minutes of usage to settle. You can relevel the deck if you want, but you're probably wasting your time because after it settles, you're going to have to adjust again. So it suggests run it for 20 to 30 minutes, and then, if it's still riding high, relevel the deck at that point. 